I usually don't do technical reviews, but since I couldn't find any information regarding this on YouTube, I decided to create something for everyone. Hopefully it's useful to somebody. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with the testing ground. The corner we just did was 150 meters away. And as you can see, they're quite above trees with dense foliage. And as we run up to the bridge, which is on the other side, on the right hand side, you can see buildings. And that means lots of people living in it with lots of Wi-Fi interference. We're doing the same run again, but this time with Foxer Cat 2. What is immediately obvious are all these snowy stuff that you get from interference. So even though I was just 150 meters away, snowy interference can happen because of the trees. The VTX used this Rush Tank Mini set at 500 milliwatts. What is also observed is every time the quad flies in front of buildings, there's some light band-like interference. I'm not sure what causes it. So what do you think? How does Foxer Cat 2 measure up against CatX Vista? What we're going to do next is to shoot for some gaps in the low-lying vegetation and compare the results. First up is the CatX Vista. And as you can see, we could see everything in clear. Contrast is good. And there are lots of details good handling of the lights and shadow, and it's easy to fly. Next up is Cat 2, comparing it against Vista. Since I already knew what was on the other side of the gap, I got away with it. But turning around and trying to do the other gap was not as easy. First it was snowy, and then the high contrast of the shadowed areas against the bright sky caused a loss in volume information. However, Cat 2's performance at night is a very different story. Look at the details, the amount of information that you get, especially when the ambient light is low. When the sky is no longer bright, Cat 2 is able to represent the nuances in darkness. I tried to do the same thing with Cat X Vista, and this is how it looks. It feels like I was committing some kind of FPV suicide. For the most part of it, I was just relying on the memory of the space to fly. I'm not going to do any more flying in this darkness. Back to Cat 2. Again, I felt confident, even though I was flying in low light. For some reason, the snowy stuff isn't as disturbing as it was during the day. Let's try do the gap thing once more. Wow, the tonal dab that you get at night is way better than the day. Once again, this shows the superiority of Cat 2 in the night. Next, we bring on Cat X Rattle for comparisons. What do you think? I abandoned going for the second gap because I couldn't tell what was in the shadows. And if you look at the tree trunks, there's no sense of volume at all. But on Cat 2, the three-dimensionality of the tree is even better than during the day. Well, Rattel does give you brighter images, but its sensitivity to light is definitely not as high as the Cat 2. So very often you can't tell how far things are away from you because the images flatten. Okay, so which camera is better? Thank you and bye-bye.